So who's Mace? Who's Diddy? You're, I'm, I'm Diddy. Diddy. I'm Diddy. I'm Diddy. Come on, I'm Diddy. I'm Diddy. Diddy. You're Mace. You're my no, mate. I'm, I'm Diddy. Blind. I'm Diddy. Mace is lighter. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, but guys, it's a bit windy, so my wig is doing whatever it wants what? right now. What? Guys, we have just been robbed. Drop it. What's up everyone? So we've got an epic, epic London vlog in store for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys can stick around for the whole video. We had an amazing time on our London adventure. Uh, we've already dropped two videos for the first night or two of the London vlog. Uh, make sure you go back and check them out if you haven't done already. But this one, we got sights, we got scenery. We had an amazing time guys. It was a big adventure in London. So make sure you stick around for the video. So before we get into it, we just need to take a minute to show you guys the kayak app. So when you're booking your next adventure, like our one in London, be sure to use this app, guys. So very easy, you can, you can look at flights, you can look at hotels, you can compare the best deals, cheapest, best dates to fly on. You can just compare the rates, it's just easy, user-friendly, anywhere in the world. Kayak app, strongly, strongly recommend this, guys. We we'll recommend it all day. Make sure you guys download the Kayak app. The link will be in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get into this London vlog. We hope you guys enjoy it. All right, what's up, family? How are you guys doing? It's day two of our London trip. Um, so, I hope you guys watched the last couple of vlogs we did. If not, make sure you go back and watch them. They're both from the first day. What's up, Aurora? What are you saying, bro? Do you like my fidget spinner? I love your fidget spinner, Aurora. And it's metallic. Tell you like it's a metallic pink. What's up, Mama Bear? What's up, guys? How you doing? So, um... Here's a little tour of our messy hotel room. We'll probably give you the full shebang in a different video. Super big, it's super nice, it's got high ceilings. Aurora loves it, don't you, baby girl? The only thing that's my only slight complaint is our view is not the best, but never mind. Like I said, guys, we're not here to complain. Uh, we're just here to enjoy ourselves on a little staycation. So anyway, guys, we're going to go out and explore now. Um, we're just going to see what you know, what we run into, so what we can find. We're right in the heart of London, so there's gonna be things to see, there's gonna be things to do, so you can uh, come along with us and let's just see what kind of adventures we get on. And my bad guys, how rude of me, how rude. Kimmy, Kimmy. <laughs> Kimmy's about to fall asleep, so I'm just putting her into a little cocoon. Oh, that's cozy. Yeah. Before we go out. I wish you were there. Too. Yeah, I know. Everyone kind of has a little side of them that wishes they could just be cocooned and just be pushed around in a bush tail like a baby. So, anyway, guys, what do you think of the fit? What's the swag saying? Oh, sorry, sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I did not mean to. You wanted to do that whole trip, guys. Guys, I promise, I didn't no, mean to. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm does sorry. It make I you feel great. No, it doesn't. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Once again, in the golden lift. It's a shame. It's a shame we can't take feels, a picture. It feels like it's like a '90s music video. It does, doesn't it? If it was Mason B. Diddy. Yes, I think that's one of the. I know theirs was silver, but it just gives me. Mason B. Diddy vibes. Nice. So who's Mace? Who's Diddy? You're, I'm, I'm, Diddy. Diddy. I'm Diddy. I'm Diddy. I'm Diddy. Come on, I'm Diddy. 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 You're, You're Mace. You're my no, Mason. I'm blind. Mace is light. Yeah, but they So you can take Mace. <laughs> it's kind of a silly argument to have, guys. How do you know that should be Mace because Mace is a picture? <laughs> Oh, you can be Diddy then, you can be you can Diddy. You can see, I've got the Diddy coat as well. But then, I'm, hang on, I can say I'm a man. I'm a man. Well, Mace is a man, so... That Mace is not a man. It's always got a rain in this damn country. Oh. Like... Like, I only one day here, like one full day here, and it's got rain. I'm not going to complain, guys, I'm not going to complain. It's just like, obviously, you know, packed at white Air Force Ones. 
Sharon's got her pandas on, light jeans. We've got to walk around in this uh, filthy weather. But never mind guys, never mind. Is what it is guys, is what it is. Basically what we're trying to go to find is there's a building which has got like a garden on a rooftop. So we're just trying to find that so we can go up, up and uh, get some views, you know. You know guys, it's all about the views when you come to London, in my opinion anyway. It's not just about the views, but you know, it's good to you know, see out over the city, get up high and see what you can see. So yeah, this building should be around here somewhere. I think it's just around this corner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. Crazy, crazy architecture here. Check this out. Okay, here we are guys. Garden at 120, this is called. And we're actually in the ocean. So, we've actually got to get searched. There's like kind of airport style, style security in these, in these places. So, uh, so, here we are, guys. Here we are. Where's the, where's the gherkin, or see if you can see the gherkin. There. It's the gherkin. No, no. Is it going? Look down there, guys. Wow. Hello. Dad, dad. Kid. Guys are not your dada. Hello. Hello. Guys, smell the rise, bro. Okay. <laughs> right. So guys, we're actually going for dinner right up here on this top floor later on. On this building they call the Walkie Talkie. It's so so cool. looking forward to that. Definitely looking forward to going up there, seeing the views and I mean I'm not even bothered about the food, it's just we're just going up there for the kind of you know, the atmosphere. So. Oh, look at these two, look at these two. Oh. oh, wait, wait, let me get one as well, let me get one as well. Guys, I don't know about you, I'm not really much of a city break kind of person, but actually coming to London this time round, I've actually really enjoyed seeing the scenery. Aurora's been bored with us because we've just been like, oh my gosh, taking pictures, taking pictures. But she's been like, I want to go now. And I get it, it's a bit boring for kids seeing like scenery and because it's cold as well. But we've we've actually like really enjoyed this time. But Comment down below if your least favorite animal is rats. Oh, rats. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. Daddy and Aurora don't like rats. If you're from London, what other places can we go? What other places are there? Like, you know, free places like with with a great skyline obviously we know the shard is there but it's obviously it's so busy and sold out um, but it's actually really beautiful and I wish we did come in the summer actually but you know what it is what it is but um, yeah if you ever come to London come to the Garden 120 it is just a nice place to come and look at this it's actually like a garden in the sky Um, basically the, where we're walking around a minute in the garden so it's pretty amazing in here it's like plants everywhere um, we're not sat by the window we've got the, the panoramic views over there got a bar in the middle it's nice I'm not going to lie guys I, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit salty right now I, don't, I just got told to take my hat off it's not in keeping the dress code I had the irony of that you're wearing a Miri hat when you get told to take it off, you drop a bag on a hat, you get told to take it off. So guys, um, we just had a little walk around in the rain, 
saw some sights, um, made some videos and stuff. Uh, so you guys got to see a little bit of that, but we're actually, it was getting cold, it was getting wet. Yeah, cold and wet, wasn't it? She was alright because she got to just relax in the buggy and go to sleep. But yeah. And uh, that, we had that little light lunch in that restaurant, which was nice as well. That was a nice restaurant. I'm just mad about the hat company. Um, taking off. But yeah, we decided, like, it's a bit of a shame because we're in. We're in like one of the world's major cities. Uh, we can't really explore too much because of the weather. We could if we wanted to, but no, no, no. We're going we, swimming. we've been to London quite a lot in the past. I mean, you know. So we decided to come back to the hotel room and we're gonna go swimming because they got a pretty big pool and spa area. So yeah, we're just gonna have a spa for a couple of hours and then um, we're coming back to the room and we're gonna get changed and we're going out on our anniversary dinner date. It's not actually our anniversary, but yeah, we've, no. got, we've got dinner booked in in a pretty, what looks like a pretty nice restaurant, so we're looking forward to that. <laughs> and they're going to be married for 11 months. 11 months? We've been married for a bit longer. I mean, no, no, 12, no. 12 years. 12 years, yeah. It was a bit of an ordeal getting dressed with uh, two kids, getting out of this hotel room so we can make it to um, a table we've got booked on time, but we did it. We're on our way and we're going to the Sky Garden. So the reason we're walking is it's literally like 0.3 mile walk from the hotel. We, we nearly got an Uber then we thought, there's no point. So we arrived, we actually, we made it on time guys. Huh? We actually made it on time. Are we on time? Yeah, I think so. I don't, I what? Don't have is this the building? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. We actually made it on time. We're like, we're panicking a little bit, thinking it's going to be late. We're going to be late, I mean. Oh, hi. Look how high this is. So, guys, this walk wasn't as bad as I thought. And it wasn't as bad as the last walk that we did last year when I was pregnant. And I learnt my lesson, I did bring some flats, so I've just put on my heels when we got wear, here. You have to wear like... Uh, nice fancy shoes. Yeah, you have to wear fancy, fancy shoes. Yeah. Yes, but guys it's a bit windy so my wig is doing whatever it wants what? right now. Not your Huh? Okay. Hey guys, so we just pulled up at this uh, restaurant. Check it out, check it out. It's a bit noisy in here, but check it out. We actually uh, managed to get our table moved to a, a little bit of a quieter spot in the corner so Sharon can get her titty out and press me. I've used better here. I've got our view guys. Amazing view. I've got a, a burger with bacon. French fries are always got cheeseburger. That looks really good. Look at that brioche bun. Super soft, that real. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's good. Sharon's got a roast pork belly with... Um, Take a bite. Roast pork belly? Mm -hmm. Super potato yeah. fries, yeah. Oh. Up here, we've been right at the top floor eating dinner. Now we're down safely on the ground again, but it's all right, it's good experience, nice views. I keep saying nice views over and over again because it's like flight kind of views and stuff. You, it does always look better when you're there in person, but hopefully, we managed to bring you guys some good visuals, anyways. Yeah, it's freezing out here, it's windy, cold. Going back to our car, guys. Oh, oh okay. All right, what's up, guys? So it's the next day, same vlog. Um, we've kind of done this one to a bit of a mishmash of one vlog, so I hope that's all right with you guys. Um, yeah. So we were basically we checked out the hotel. Um, 
we were heading home and we actually decided we were literally passing through right through like the heart of London like we're driving through and we actually managed to find a park in this dingy parking garage um, so yeah we decided to like randomly just park up and to have a little walk around I guess central London for a little bit the girls were saying they're super tired but you know you only live once guys sometimes you just got to do things I, to be honest I didn't feel ready to just go back and go back to our usual routine I'm just not ready for that I'm trying to just like drag this out for as long as possible so that's my mentality So guys, they got Dior, they got Chanel, they got Tom Ford, uh, what else? Lots of designers around here, so this is uh, my kind of place. No, I wouldn't know. Like. <laughs> um, the guys were hungry, so we found this restaurant. Um, unfortunately, there's no seating inside, so we're sat out here in the elements. It's actually not that cold, actually. It's not too cold, no. but look at all the people walking past. tricky trying to vlog when you've got the baby and you're trying to feed them and they're clingy so you know what it is I just have to let the man do what he does but now he's in the switch balls yeah. 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 guys we've got some sort of crazy rainstorm going on here we've like we know how to pick our days this is my fault as well because I'm like dragging them. There's a lids, like like a hat shot, which I'm dragging these guys to. So I'm probably not going to be very popular when we get back in the car. But Covent Garden, I used to come here a lot, and um, when in my dancing days, you know, coming here to the dance studio and whatnot, doing auditions, and it feels weird being here because it's all different. There's like new shops. Um, but it's very nice and picturesque now. They've got the Christmas stuff out now, which is nice. It's, it's so nice. It's making me actually think like I would live in London because before I'd, I'd said I'd never, ever, 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 ever live in London. But after being here this weekend, there is something that I actually do like about London now. And I think maybe because we went to the right places. Best hat shop in England, hands down. We're here in Lids, in London. Um, I bit this hat, Atlanta Braves hat. The A represents the A for Aurora Araya. And I'm actually going to get this embroidered, so I'm going to get Aurora and Araya embroidered on the back of the hat. Side. Well, no, it's got to go there because obviously oh. the we're not allowed to go on the front, so we have to go on one of these sort of side back panels. Yeah. Check out this crazy machine. Longer. Well, I need to look yeah. a bit more neat. And there it is. 
Dope. Thank you very much. No worries. Right? You see that? No. Duck bag? Yes, please. We're all in a row. It's like it's part of the hat. Cool. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Oh, you like those picks? So, guys, I mean, this look really nice shop. It's like all black owned stuff that's in here. And it's really amazing. So, it's got African stuff, black books, um, African prints. Oh, what's it called? Rapunzel. Oh, or don't, don't touch, touch my, my hair. hair. That's, that's your book because people always touch your hair, don't they? But yes, look at this shop, guys. Got the nice baskets. Look, Aurora, how cute is that? That's really sweet. Huh? Lots of books. Lots of books. Sun's out guys, sun's out, guns out. We're headed back to the car now, it's typical isn't it? Just as we're ready to get going, hit the, hit the road, sun comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we did stop, are you? I am glad actually. No, we stopped, yeah, just, just to make the day up, just so we'd like doing something the last day, rather than just going home, sitting at home, being bored. I'm, I'm happy we're out and about, let's do something else. Make the most of it, but yeah. Guys, we have just, been robbed like literally robbed in daylight daylight robbery daylight what? robbery we got robbed in daylight guys not literally not literally but we might as well have been because this parking that we parking space we parked in it's ridiculous we had to pay for three hours four hours yeah, I guess three or four hours. We paid thirty pounds for three slash four hours. Ouch! Ouch! That literally makes me sick, sick to my stomach. Because we thought we weren't going to be that long anyway, did we? And then we got carried away. We got carried away. But we've got to say though, we are right in the heart of London here, so. Parking is not going to be cheap. Like no one drives into the centre of London like this. Most people no, we we'll tube catch it. A tube, ta a taxi, uh, bus. So I'm, you know, we did it to ourselves. We, we did it to ourselves. It was self-inflicted. But yeah, thirty pounds for like Go past these three power, three, yeah, three the hours, three hours parking. Take the third exit. It's not the one. It's not the one. We've, I, I, you know, I don't know if you guys ever get this, but. You know, you go away, you have a good time, you know, you eat out, you don't want to worry too much about what you spend and you start feeling a little bit guilty after and just thinking, have I spent too much money this weekend? Mm, yeah. And I'm kind of feeling that a little bit that way now because, you it's know. It's going to hit us when we get home. Yeah, when you get home, you look at your bank balance, you're like, ah, oh, maybe I should. Oh, guys, look, Trafalgar Square. We should have come Trafalgar Square, but we probably would have spent 80 quid. If we did, yeah. <laughs> if we did this. It's oh, yeah, nice, yeah. You see that Aurora? Covent Garden was actually really nice. I'm so glad we went there. That little shop that we went in was so nice. And the people in there, Kojo and his wife Valerie and Marigold, uh, were very, really nice and kind. So um, I got a little necklace. If you're ever in Covent Garden, go and check that shop out. Go and support some black business, some, you know, African attire in there. It was really nice. I got this African necklace i don't know if you can see it so guys we're on our way back home we really don't want to go home but oh the sunset over that way looks so nice can you see the sky mm. yeah I'm, I'm a little bit sad as well to be leaving it's like we've only been here for a weekend it's just over in a flash and even though i'm kind of you know i know we did spend a lot of money but it's it's all worth it because it's 
It's just making memories of family, isn't it? Exactly. Even though we might sometimes feel the pressure of travelling with kids and sometimes think, thinking, is it worth it? Ooh. At the end, when you're coming home, you're like, actually, we've had a good time together. We've, yeah. We've, we've made some memories, and I know Aurora's definitely had a good time. Have you had a nice time, Aurora? Yeah, I'm just opening my kitchen surprise egg. Are you walking? Okay, that's fine. That She's. She enjoyed swimming. Yeah, yes, nice. that's one thing actually. She's actually very confident now in the water with her floaters, uh, floaters, with the floating, <laughs> de with the floating devices. And she's so, honestly, she was so good. I'm so proud of her. She's very frightened of water before, but once she realised that she can float, I think the fear kind of went away. So we're definitely going to be starting some swimming lessons, and that's what we how we wanted to do it. We didn't want to just force her into doing it and she's not comfortable in in the water but now she's comfortable we're definitely going to do it more aren't we babe yeah definitely yes so.